Graphics, Hiding and Revealing Elements. So let's take a quick look at our sheets. So if we go into our project browser, and let's start with the site views. So just double click on that. OK, so there's our site view. Let's now go to the other file, our reference file, and let's just compare what they look like. So I'm going to go to View, Switch Windows, and then 02RAC2013F. So I'll just go to that one there. OK, and then let's just scroll down. And then we go to A2, Site Views. Double click on that. Now let's compare this one with our other one. So this is the reference. This is sort of what we're trying to go for here. Let's go to View, Switch Windows, and then let's go to our sheet here, Sheet A2, Site Views. It's on 1601 Complete. So we can notice that there is a difference between the one that we looked at, our reference, and this one. And mostly it's graphical. So let's go to the project browser, A3, Main Floor Plan. So let's just double click on that. OK, so here we are. So there's the one that we have currently. This is 1601. Now let's switch over to our reference file. So I'm going to go to View, Switch Windows, and then I'm going to go to the 02RAC file. So just click on one of those. Then in the project browser, let's scroll down and go to Main Floor Plan. So here's the main floor plan from our reference file. You can see the walls are orange. The section box is down here. If I click on the view, it's an eighth inch scale. So that's the same. Its dimensions might be a little different. Let's just go to Switch Windows. And let's just go to 1601 Complete Sheet A3. Just click on that. So right away, you can see, wow, big difference here. Like the walls are not orange. The section mark is all different. It's facing the other way. You know, there's lots of different changes here. So that's really what we're going to be talking about over the next few videos. And especially right now, we're going to talk about hiding and revealing elements. So let's say, for instance, you had made some interior elevations, but maybe you made them for only your own reference and you don't want that particular object showing in this view. That's where we start getting into hiding and revealing elements. What we'll do is we're going to work right on this sheet. So we're going to activate this view. Let's just right click on the viewport. So just make sure it's all selected like that. And then go to activate view. OK, so now we're in the view. We did talk about this elevation mark, but now that I zoom out, what about this? Let's turn that off. I'm just going to hover over this project base point and right click. Notice this, you can hide it in the view. You have a choice to either hide the elements or the category. So if I go to Elements, I've just hidden that project base point. So we could do the same thing with this elevation marker as well. I just zoomed in. I could right click on any piece of it, hide in view. But watch this, I'm going to hide the elements again. Notice only that one little arrow hid. OK, let's right click on this again. Hide in view, Category. Aha, now the whole thing changes. OK, so let's now click on one of these lockers. Let's right click, hide in view, and then go to category. OK, so we just hid the furniture. Whoops, maybe we want to show it. We did that on purpose, but really, in this case, I want to talk about how to reveal the hidden elements as well. That's the second part of this video. So in order to reveal what's been hidden, you can go down to these view controls down at the bottom. And these are all specific just to the view you're in. But if I go to this, this is called Reveal Hidden Elements. It's the big light bulb. This light bulb here, that's the hide crop region. That's not the one we want. We want just the light bulb. Just click on that. And what you'll notice is all the things that we hid are now visible to us. So if I just zoom out, you can see there's the point we hid. There's actually a survey mark in there that's been revealed to us. There's some other objects here. So this is just telling us what has been hidden. But maybe some of it we want to bring back. So we're going to click on one of these lockers. And I'm going to just right click on it. And then I'm going to go to Unhide in View. Notice I can do Category. So you unhide it the same way that you hit it. You just right click on it and choose Unhide in View. When you're done, click on the light bulb again. And then you're basically back to normal. So let's hide a few more things and then we'll continue on. So I have a couple pieces of site furniture out here. 
And maybe in this particular view, we don't want to show that. So we could right click, hide in view element, right click, hide in view element. You know, we have some other things here. I think I'll leave those. But I'm just going to click on the crop region and then just bring it in a little tighter. Okay, so let's just right click and deactivate the view now. So we're back onto the sheet. You can see that because we hid that project base point, the viewport is smaller. It just goes to the extents of your model, basically. 